Hi, I'm Dale Ann Gray. I teach I Rest Yoga Nidra. That's integrative restoration yoga sleep, a meditative practice that is known to heal PTSD. It's trauma sensitive. It helps me face life with more skill to deal with emotions and thoughts and beliefs in a very healthy way. I also teach Ember, which is mindfulness-based emotional resilience. It builds on the resilience that you already have by tapping into the wholeness that's already there, a trauma-sensitive yoga practice that um, heals trauma within the body, helps you face it, helps you see yourself as a survivor, experience positive emotions, and manage strong ones. I also teach in uh, yoga for the office that is just really fun. We do flows and strength things and relaxation and pranayama breathing techniques, all kinds of lovely things. It's a wonderful group of people. And for fun, I do aerial yoga. So here's how you do Shavasana in aerial yoga. You lie down in the hammock. And that's Shavasana. Pretty cool, huh? So I hope to see you in some of my classes. Bye. Hello, I'm Dale Ann Gray, and welcome to this 30-minute I Rest Yoga Nidra. That's Integrative Restoration Yoga Sleep. Nidra is the Sanskrit word for sleep. So what you'll need for this practice, this very calming, soothing, meditative practice is a comfy, cozy place to settle in and get as relaxed as you possibly can right here, right now. I prefer to do it lying down. You might prefer sitting up, but if you're lying down, have something under your head so that your forehead is just ever so slightly above your chin. Have something under your knees so that there's no pressure at all, no strain on the low back and a blanket to keep you comfy, cozy, warm because your body temperature can decrease during the meditation. It's also quite common to fall asleep during yoga nidra. That's okay. Just know that you're receiving whatever it is that you need. If you fall sound asleep, that's because your body needed the sleep. So you get what you need. And otherwise, your consciousness, some part of your consciousness is still online and receiving what you need. So you get your I rest nest all ready. And I will introduce the theme, which is free humility. That is, I know, who wants to <laughs> do a meditation on, oh, I got to be more humble. <laughs> <laughs> that is not this kind. Hri is one of the niyamas of non-dual yoga, which is the tradition from which I rest comes. And a niyama is an observance, something that we want to encourage in our life. But it's not that kind of, oh, wretched person that I am. Oh, this is just, I am unworthy. It's not that kind of humility at all. Um, even the translate the uh, etymology of the English word humility comes from humus, Latin for earth. So it's, it's kind of a bowing to the, that from which you came, that which sustains you, that to which you will dissolve in. So um, hri also comes from, in the Sanskrit, it's it, it, because it's this non-dual yoga where everything is one comes from recognizing that oneness of all that is and then bowing to that. So, you know, when I puff myself up and, and I, I am the better of this and I'm, I'm better than, than you at whatever or I'm worse than you at whatever, that's this whole hierarchy of statuses. And, and Hri recognizes the a flat hierarchy, 
that if I'm looking at you, I'm looking at consciousness in your form. If I'm looking at a blade of grass, it's consciousness in grass form. If I'm looking in a mirror, it's consciousness in my form. So here we are all one part of the same. So that's the, um, the root of this hurry that we'll look into. So you settle in and relax as much as you can. I know that word is sometimes triggering, like relax, you relax. <laughs> no, this is, this is more just as much as is possible today. I'd like to share with you from the Vijnana Bhairava Tantra, interpreted as the, the Radiant Sutras by Lauren Roach. This is number 26. And that's one of the, the foundational texts of non-duality, of non-dual yoga. The one who is at play everywhere says, there is a space in the heart where everything meets. Come here if you want to find me. Mind, senses, soul, eternity, all are here. Are you here? Enter the bowl of vastness that is the heart. Listen to the song that is always resonating. Give yourself to it with total abandon. Quiet ecstasy is here, and a steady, regal sense of resting in a perfect spot. You, who are the embodiment of blessing, once you know the way, the nature of attention will call you to return. Again and again, answer that call and be saturated with knowing, I belong here. I am at home. Settling in, reviewing the kind of day you've had so far, noticing the thoughts, maybe to-do lists, what you did before, what you have to do after. Give your ego its say. It's, it wants to keep you safe. It wants to make sure you get done today what you need to do. So let it have its say. And then invite it to just rest here a while with you. Maybe even take your your right hand and tap your left shoulder or take a hand and tap your shoulder and say, oh, honey, come here, rest with me a while. Let's meditate now. Let's come with me as we enter into the bowl of vastness that is our own heart. <laughs> Feeling into whatever is beneath you. If you're sitting, you feel the chair, resting your head back. If you're lying down, feel the supports. Maybe you're lying on a bed, on a couch, on the floor, on a yoga mat, in a recliner, just resting back. Invite the body to be heavy. In fact, you might even add to that beautiful gift of gravity by pressing the body back into whatever you're resting on, just subtly and gently, and then letting that go. And if it's all right, allow your attention to rest on the top side of your body. And then invite it to drizzle down your intention, drizzling down to through, through your body. Through the muscle and tissue and bone and organs, nerves, blood vessels, all the way through the body to the backside. And then invite it to continue its downward trek, deeply down. You 
might even join this relaxation response by sighing aloud, lengthening the exhale. Inhale through the nose. Ah. And do that two more times. Inhale through the nose. Ah. One more. Ah. Notice any settling any release, any relaxation that accompanied that exhale. And even as you've invited the body to be heavy, you might notice parts of the body that are just downright light. perhaps parts of the body that are not touching the supports beneath you. Maybe the backs of the wrists, the back of the neck. If you're lying down, maybe the small of the back, that space behind the ankles. They might even feel kind of floaty or buoyant. So here, right at the very beginning of our practice, <clears throat> we can feel into both heaviness, gravity, and lightness, buoyancy, at the same time. Both are true. Both are happening. And then awaken the senses if it's okay. Your eyes might be closed or you might just have a downward unfocused gaze. If your eyes are closed, notice the play of light, images coming and going. And if your eyes are slightly opened, notice the blurry, unfocused colors and images. Awakening the sense of hearing, inviting these sounds to come to you just as they are. perhaps even relishing that precognitive moment before you can put a label on the sound. The sense of smell, any aroma, scent, fragrance, the sense of taste, any flavor, simply noticing. All the senses wide awake. <clears throat> Feeling into your energetic heart center, any resonance of life itself, a shimmering, a resounding light, or perhaps as our reading said, that song that is always resonating, listening in,
Maybe it's an effervescence, a tingling, or the beat of your own heart, the sound of your own breath, or the movement the breath engenders. Whatever it is, invite this sensation of life itself to grow, to fill your torso and all your limbs streaming up into the head, even your whole body filled with this song of life. Perhaps you'd like to set an intention for your practice. It could be something as simple as I am here now. Make it a present tense statement if that's all right. <clears throat> as if it were already true. And it's okay if there's no intention. Tapping in now to your inner resource, that sense of well being in any amount comfort, ease, as much as you can muster today, right here, right now. Maybe it's a favorite vacation spot. Whatever it is, fill it out with all your senses. What do you see, hear, feel, taste? smell. You can go to this inner resource anytime throughout the meditation. And if my words don't land for you at any point, you can go to this sacred space of comfort and ease. Then tuning back into your heart again, listening in to that song. Maybe it's a love song, maybe it's a lullaby. Maybe <laughs> it's a Sousa March. <laughs> it can be anything calling you, commissioning you for what life wants to live through you. What gives your heart? joy and life and meaning and purpose. Sometimes it could be in a picture, an image of memory or an emotion. And it's okay if nothing comes up. Sometimes the heart is silent. And that silence is like the rests in music Mozart called the silence in music the most important part. Pointing to this vast silence at the center of your being. And now if it's all right, let my words become your words. And notice that you're breathing this breath that is so present. Notice that it happens all by itself, comes and goes, this breath of life. Feeling the inhale, feeling the exhale. Filling, filling, all the way to the top. And that moment of lightness, of buoyancy, of freedom, of ecstasy, and then exhaling, exhaling, all the way to empty, void. Yet filled with a presence filled with the potential of the next breath. And here it comes. 
like riding up the hill of a roller coaster, inhaling, filling, filling the top, that moment of weightlessness, of ecstasy, and then emptying, emptying all the way to void at the bottom with the anticipation of the next breath. And here it is, inhaling at your own pace, noticing, watching the breath, letting it be just as it is, perfect, whole, complete, potent with life, the breath has its own wisdom of coming and going. This one breath. You might even ask, am I breathing or am I being breathed by life itself? Where does the breath begin and end? Where do I begin and end? The breather, the breathing, and the breath, all one. And the one being breathed, the breathing and the breath all one, the breather, and the one being breathed, all one. And then, if it's all right, invite your attention to rest in the head and we'll do a, a sensory scan of the head, sensing into all of the sense organs that can be found in the head, feeling the head heavy and resting back, the skull cradling, protecting the precious contents, the crown of the head glowing warm and radiant, perhaps a resounding light at the crown of the head, the sides of the head, and both ears all the curves and folds and the spaces they define, the vastness of the ear canals, vibrating air swirling through, playing timpani on your eardrums, sound, the hearer, the hearing, and the heard, all one. Attention now caressing your cheeks as a loved one. The cheeks glowing with life, warm and radiant, smooth, broad and resting back. Feel the air on your skin, cool or warm. Into the eyes now the eye sockets round and hollow, spacious. The eyes heavy and resting back. 
the inner corners of the eyes releasing the outer corners spreading wide. Eyes closed or slightly opened. Images passing by. The dance of light. Where do these images begin and end? You might ask, where do I begin and end? The seer, the seeing, and the seen, all one. The nose, the nostrils spacious. Fast, empty, air swirling in and swirling out with every breath, noticing the sense of smell, fragrance an aroma, where does it begin and end? Asking where do I begin and end? You, this lovely perfume of life. And now, Tension entering the mouth, feeling the lips, that cavernous space from the floor to the cathedral of the mouth, the roof. Fast, open, empty, and yet filled with so much potential. The potential of speech, this holy place where words are formed. The speaker, the speaking, and the spoken, all one. and taste, flavors, savoring this taste that you are. And now attention, cradling, both sides of your jaw. Attention looking you in the eyes with love. You, the beloved, you, the attention. You, the one being held. You, the holder, the holding. All one. Your whole head. One. Delightful. Shimmering. Resounding field of sensation. And now inviting in any sense of joy or wonder. Awe, delight. accompanied by your inner resource. That place of comfort and ease where you get to be entirely you. Where 
where your shoulders release, the breath is easy or easier. The clenching of your jaw releases any amount. Welcoming contentment or flow that time of being so engrossed that time is no more. Joy, bliss, wonder. Expanding out into space itself. Observing, witnessing, dissolving into this vastness. The witnesser, witnessing, and the witnessed all one. One with life itself, one with love. Boundless, spacious, vast, eternal, timeless, whole, complete, lacking nothing, wise, and potent with life itself. And in this bowl of vastness that is your own heart, you might begin to hear out of the silence the song that is always resonating, the quiet ecstasy, that steady regal sense of resting in a perfect spot, knowing I belong here I am at home. And letting that song that sings you, sing you back into joy, back into sensation and emotions and thoughts and memories, back into the breath itself. Waking you up with a bigger inhale and a longer exhale. Into the vast knowing of oneness that produces a bow to the earth, a bow to the all, a bow to yourself. beginning to wiggle fingers and toes and raising eyebrows. Go from small movements to larger if that feels good to you. Waking yourself up, letting this lullaby sing you into wakefulness or this love song. Love you throughout the rest of your day, coming to a full and upright seated position, bringing the hands to heart center, in Anjali, letting the knuckles be apart because Anjali means cavity. It's that void filled with the potential of all of life. Bringing the hands to heart center, lower the gaze or close the eyes, the crown of the head reaches to the heavens, the chin bows in in reverence. 
The song in me bows to the song in you. Namaste. Thank you for your practice today. If you want a little bit of self-practice for the week, it would be, hmm, I guess notice the vastness, notice the emptiness, notice every empty cup and know that it's filled with all that is. <laughs> and let that resonate in you. Let it um, help you recognize the oneness of all and let that bow in your heart in humility, in hurry. Until next time, bye-bye.